At the end of 2017 and into the winter of 2018, in my home city, there was an estimated 150 families homeless. 150 homeless families. Thank goodness for the social service programs in our city, in our county, and for the charitable peoples and their agencies that help the impoverished. Now what I intend to do you in a series of videos is show you how to survive it. Basically, how to feed yourself on a food stamp budget and food pantries. That's once you get shelter. Briefly, I'm going to go through a process that I had to, to live through myself. In the summer of 2017, I was released from our county um, jail system. I uh, got into a domestic dispute at home and ended up in jail for 28 days. Coming out, of course, my family didn't want me to reside with them anymore. So I was on my own with the clothes on my back. To make a long story short, I ended up in the local, I ended up in the local um, housing shelter. Thank God it existed in my county and I was one of the blessed and lucky ones that was able to have a space in that shelter. And I transitioned from the shelter in one part of the county to um, what would be equivalent to transitional housing, um, which um, led me to permanent housing. Thank God for that. I didn't have to camp out in the snow. There, in the county where I live, there is another shelter system where you can only be off the streets at night there. It gives you a warm place to be at night. But 8 a.m., you're out there. Rain, snow, whatever the weather is, heat, you're out there in the elements. So the next video posting you'll see from me will be our trip to the local food pantry and um, I'll make a few food choices and then bring it home and prepare it. I hope you all don't have to suffer with an impoverished situation but God forbid if you do, ooh, you'll have something to go on to help yourself. It's not the end of the world. It's hard, but not impossible. See you later.